Uh, it's been about a week. I haven't watched it. I haven't taken any notes. So this translation will be very rough. Uh, so deal with it. You can always make your own. You can always make your own uh, translation video if this one is not good enough for you. Anyway, the title of his speech is uh, Getting Stronger Every Day. And it was supposed to be about how he continues to stay on top, how you continue winning, how you continue improving uh, over the long term. So that's what everyone expected. Hello, my name is Daigo. I'm a pro gamer. So when he, before he was here, he wasn't nervous at all, but then he got here and it was so amazing, he began to get very nervous. The title of the speech is Getting Stronger Every Day, and it's also the same title as my book. So the book explains how to stay strong and stay improving over a long period of time. So I think maybe many of you guys were hoping I would talk about that today, but uh, today I'm going to be talking about something completely different. At the very end, I wanted to uh, change the contents of the speech. So I kind of did something a little crazy, and I decided to change that. So sorry, my speech has nothing to do with my book. Please forgive me. Please allow me to speak about what I want to do. Even though a lot of people, they, they gave me a really nice introduction and in how like much of an impressive person I am, but really all I do is play games. So I wanted to just explain, you know, what I'm doing and how I am as a gamer, so please allow me to do that. Anyway, if anyone here wants to go to the toilet, please go ahead while I'm speaking. Me personally, I can never hold it in. I always go to the bathroom, so feel free to go. Whenever I do speeches like this, whenever I do speeches like this, I always talk about and explain how can you how can you win, how can you improve over a long period of time. That's what I always talk about. But looking at all you guys gathered here to get today. You guys are all professionals. You look like maybe you don't need to hear that lecture from me. So I'm glad I'm not doing that today. Yeah. If, I, feel, I feel like if I talked about what I normally talk about, you guys would already know it. So instead, I want to talk about something that I think will have some, some, some meaning for you guys. Let me pause. Real quick, let me pause real quick a little. Uh, if you didn't know, this is at a university, but it's not a, um, he's not talking to college students. It was, uh, it took place at the university, but it was all businessmen. So everyone was wearing a suit. Uh, everyone was older, a lot of very old people, uh, a lot of professionals. So Daigo, he's done speeches before, but this is his first speech at like this level. And it's also his first speech solo. So he was saying, I'm glad I'm glad I'm I'm changing I'm the topic of my speech because what I normally talk about might not be very uh effective for you guys. You might already know. So anyway, he's changing it. So he says yeah. The main theme of his discussion here is he wants to teach you guys how to understand and determine your own sense of values and your own will. Decide your own wills, decide your own values. But 
If I'm going to talk about this, if you're going to understand what I'm going to talk about this, I feel like first you need to understand about me and my life and how I've gotten to this point. So I want to explain to you how I've played games so long and what I think about and what I feel when I'm playing games. And also what I'm thinking now as well. That's how I want to start talking. So the first, <laughs> the first thing I want to check is, do you guys even know what a pro gamer is? Raise your hand if you know what a pro gamer is. He says, he says not even half, less than half of you know what a pro gamer is. Are there any people here that have never played a fighting game? He said, oh man, there's a lot of people that have never played a fighting game before. He said, I was scared about this, but I'll do a very quick, easy explanation. So a fighting game, there are a lot of different type of video games, like a racing game, a soccer game. Well, a fighting game is a, is like a, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight where you use physical and fighting attacks. So Dago says, he's a pro gamer, but he's only good at fighting games. I'm only good at fighting games. So then you ask, what is a pro gamer? Pro gamers right now, it might change in the future, but at the moment, pro, ga pro gamers are just people that get sponsors from different companies. Yeah. It's a player who's sponsored by companies. And that's, they're called pro gamers. In 2010, he became Japan's first pro gamer. That was the start. And now this is like the, the eighth year. He says it's, it's, a, it's an industry that's still very shallow. Yeah. Yeah. Pause again real quick. Hmm. Yeah. So he said a pro gamer. Pro gamer is just at the moment it is someone who is sponsored by a company, but he thinks it's it's a very young industry, the pro gamer. So Daigo thinks in the future, what a pro gamer is might change. They might have to get a certification. They might have to pass a test. Uh, they might have to register, and things might change to be considered a pro. But at the moment, uh, being a pro gamer is just a player who's sponsored by a company. So, I am Japan's first pro gamer, but I want to explain to you how I got to that path, how I became Japan's first pro gamer. People always ask me in interviews, when did I first dream of being a pro gamer? So Daigo said, <laughs> Daigo says, it's not a really good question because usually the people asking it aren't familiar with the FGC and pro gamers. So Daigo says he never dreamed of being a pro gamer because it didn't exist, right? He never really thought of uh, being able to play games and, and be able to get food and money. So he never really dreamed of being a pro gamer. Yeah. Yeah, so he's explaining just, right? Pro gamer is, is not something he dreamed of being when he was growing up. And he's going to talk about when he, when he first met fighting games. He was 11 years old. About 25 years ago, when he first met fighting games, he was 11. That was during the fighting game boom and the game called Street Fighter. で、普段は親とか学校の先生にゲームセンターっていうのは危ないところだから行っちゃダメだよって言われてたので、あ、パーズ。ゲームセンターのゲームを目にする機会っていうのは全然なかったんですが、え、ブームですから何しろ。
ゲームセンターだけじゃなくなったんですねそのゲームを置く場所がで僕が普段行ってたレンタルビデオショップにストリートファイターが置かれるようになって、はい、so d a g o said he's 36 this year、um, his first encounter with fighting games was when he was 11 so 25 years ago during the boom of fighting games and street fighter was the most popular game So, Street Fighter was played in the arcades, but、uh, since he was a kid, his parents and his teachers would always tell him, Don't go to arcades, don't go to arcades. So, Daigo would never go to the arcade because he was always told not to. But since it was a, it was a fighting game boom,、uh, even when he would go to the video store, like the, the rental shop, he, he ran into Street Fighter at the video rental shop. Uh, yeah, so he, he ran into the game. He said, even though I never intended to, I ran into the game at the video shop.、Uh, so, up until now, the game center games, the arcade games, and the console games had a huge gap. And the arcade games were way better than console games. So, for me, a kid who had only played like Super Nintendo, once I saw an arcade game, I was shocked. Wow, they talk so much. There are so many characters. The graphics are so pretty. Wow, if I pay money, I can play such an amazing game like this. So, it felt like he, it felt like he, he became aware of a very dangerous thing. Yeah, so it was very like, fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. So Daigo understood, Daigo understood that if he, if he started playing fighting games, he would stop studying, he would stop doing all that because fighting games were so amazing. So Daigo, at 11 years old, he began to start going to arcades as a secret. He wouldn't tell his parents or his teacher. Yeah. So he would, if he had any money, if he had any money, he would spend it all on the arcade, but he would keep it a secret from his parents. He would lie and say he bought a book. He's like, I bought a book with the money. So he started playing at 11, and up until, until he was 13 years old, he would practice a lot because he was a kid, he had a lot of free time. He would practice a lot. And so he would practice from 11 is when he started up until 13, and he would spend all his money, like I said, he would spend all his money on our kids. He would lie to his parents and say he bought a book or something. And then、uh, since he was a kid, And he had a lot of free time. He would practice, practice, practice. So by the time he was 13, he said he was able to beat adults. He could take out adults as a 13 year old. Now he's explaining、uh, about fighting games. Yeah, so he was explaining how fighting games are only fun because it's one on one and you need to find people your level. So he beat everyone that were in his local area. So by the time he was 13, He started leaving his hometown and traveling to arcades in the city to the popular game centers. He said, Yeah, I stood out. I was a 13 year old kid. He said, it was, it was incredibly rare for a 13 year old like myself to go to one of the popular arcades because they're full of adults. Yep, so 13, 13 was that the big change where he started traveling into the arcades. Yeah, so from 13 to 14, that one year, he grinded like crazy. Daga says, I don't know why. It could have been I was super passionate about it, or maybe I had a gift. But I was beating everybody. So everyone around me started telling me, maybe you're the strongest person in Japan. So then Daigo said, maybe I am the strongest in Japan. So he went, he. 
なるんですね。Okay. So yeah, this is when he's 14. So, Tago's timeline is 11 was when he first met Street Fighter at the video game rental shop. He fell in love with it, started sneaking out to his local arcade at 11. For two years, he would just practice at the local arcade and beat everybody. And then from 13, he started traveling into the city to、uh, the popular arcades with the adults. And so for one year, he would do that and he grinded like crazy. And he said, I don't know why. He's like, maybe it was because I was really passionate as a kid. Maybe I had a natural gift, or maybe it was because all the support of everyone around me. But、uh, by the time I was 14, I was really, really strong, and everyone around me was telling me, maybe you're the strongest in Japan. So Daigo said, maybe I was. So he entered the national tournament and he won. 14. The game of the world is that 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 the game of the world is He was an elite. He would beat everybody. He would beat everybody. He would even think that he was a genius. Daigo would think, man, I'm a genius. He says, he says he doesn't know why. There's a lot of different reasons. He wouldn't, he doesn't know why he was winning so much. He said maybe he, he wanted it more than anyone else. He had skills, but、yeah. he couldn't win. All right, so he couldn't lose. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember this part. で東京に8歳で出てきてそこからゲームにこうハマってしまうまでっていうのはずっとクラスのリーダーだったんですよ話をするのも好きだったし当時としてはカラダが大きかったしまあ力もあったんですよねだから自然とクラスのこうまとめ
even though I was traveling, even though I was traveling and doing what I love to do, like I was traveling in the city and playing fighting games and doing what I love to do, the fact that I was losing my friends and like my classmates, uh, he said it wasn't a good feeling. I didn't enjoy it. So I decided I'm going to try listening to popular music. And I listened. I listened to the popular music. And I also watched the popular TV show. But in the very end, it just wasn't for me. I realized it wasn't for me. So then I be, ooh, that's deep. So this is, this is like a young 13, 14 year old kid, right? So Daigo would listen to the music that everyone in the class liked. He tried watching the TV show everyone liked and uh he said it wasn't it wasn't for me like he couldn't get into it and then as a kid he realized is it really that important like is it really that important for me to to get along with my classmates like is it really that necessary to do things i don't like to do to to fit in with everybody he said i couldn't get the answer yeah he, he was a kid, so he didn't know the answer, but he had that, that idea, that question in his head. Is it really important to get along with these people? So now everyone's asking, wow, are games really that amazing? Are games that amazing that you don't even care about like your, your classmates and stuff and like your future and all that? Did you really have to play that much, Daigo? So, of course, the games are really fun. But, uh, Ooh, okay. Alright, so Alright, so uh, Daigo it was saying that he realized maybe he doesn't need to be, be friends with his classmates. It's not important. He likes games. So then he says, so you might be wondering, are games really that amazing? Like, are games so amazing that you can just throw away, like, your classmates and not worry about them? So Daigo said, it is true that games are very fun. Like, I, I love playing games, but... Uh, what was really fascinating to me, not just the games, but were the people in the arcades. So he said he used to play in Akihabara. He used to go to a popular arcade in Akihabara. And he said the people there were just as fascinating as the games. So now he's talking about school. He says in school, his classmates in school would ask you a question like, uh, like, I like this, or I like that, like, I don't know. So something, some I like this, or I like that. If you just say that, then you can you can have friends. Like I don't know, something poly. Like, I don't know, Justin Bieber. If you're in school and you say I like Justin Bieber, then your classmate might say I like Justin Bieber too, and now you're friends. So that real shallow. Game center is yeah. But he says the game center exact opposite. <laughs> お前の意見どうなんだ、お前の本当に好きなもんなんなんだっていうのはその all right, so this is uh, this is really interesting. This might not be. This is a very Japanese thing too, just kind of the way Japanese culture is. But so Daigo was saying, like in school, all you have to do is say something like "I like this" or "I like this," and that way you can make friends. And that it's not like whatever. He said, but the arcades are the opposite. Arcades are the opposite. In the arcade, if you say like "I like this," and it, they'll get angry at you. They'll say, like, what do you, like, stop lying. You don't like that. Tell me what you really like. Uh, and they'll get angry at you for being fake. So Daigo said, 
he was shocked. He'd never been in a place like that where he could be himself. He could tell his real feelings, his real thoughts, uh, and he could speak like directly with another person and share their real their real feelings. So as a kid, Daigo was he said he was like entranced by that. He could he could be real, right? He could be real. So he said, "Wow, I can I can say what I think and what I feel and get praised for it too." And also, they told him not to worry about, um, like he said, "Don't don't worry about like people around you. Like say what you want, like what you want to do, or what you like. Say it. Don't just say it because the people around you are saying it. The adults, the arcade adults, had this effect on young Daigo." Uh... So he said, yeah, the reason why he kept going to the arcades for so long was was not just because of the games. He liked the games, but the fact that it was a place where he could say things. It was a place where he could say things only there. He could only say the things he wanted to say at the arcade. That's why he was going. So then he kept going and he kept winning as well. So he, he thinks it was... Mm, yeah. mm. So he, from 14, jumped to 22, but in between 14 and 22, he kept grinding games, grinding games. Pause again. So yeah, so he explained why he was so attracted to games, and then so from 14 to 22, it was like it was safe to say that he just played like that was the the main thing in his life was just fighting games, fighting games. Just he kept going for all that time, and that was the highest priority. So now he jumped to 22. He said he started working as a freeder. So a freeder is someone who just constantly does part time jobs. Very common in Japan. Like you work a part time job. And then you switch, you go to another part-time job, and da da da. So he was working at a a restaurant, and he said it was really rare because there were coworkers that were the same age as he was, so 22, and he had other 22-year-old coworkers. Yeah. There were four 22-year-olds. There were eight people at the restaurant, and four of them were Daigo's age. Including Daigo. So Daigo was naturally able to talk with people his own age, but they were they're a bit different from him. Like they're yeah. Yeah. All right, so he was talking all the 22-year-olds at his restaurant. So Daigo said since he'd been going to the arcades for so long, he was used to hanging out with older people. And now he's hanging out with people that are the same age as him. And they all had a very, very different, like, mindset. They all had different ways of, like, acting and talking and everything. So Daigo was not used to that, but he said it was really interesting. He's like, wow, it was really interesting change of pace to, like, get along with people that are my age. And it was also a job he worked for a pretty long time. He enjoyed it and he worked it for a long time. Uh oh. うん。まあ、就職ですよね。彼らは大学に行って4年生、4年生で卒業するから。で、その時に、あ、そっかって同い年で仲良くなれた気がした。同じ仲間のような気がしてたけど。俺だけ違ったな、そういえばって気づかされて。みんなはその自分の人生のレールに乗る途中でそのアルバイトをしてただけで、俺みたいにどこに行くんだかもわかんない、何するかも決まってない。Ouch, that hurts. So, uh, the four, like the four young people, the four musketeers, right? So Daigo and the three others. So Daigo said he got along with the other three. Uh, it was... There, it was like a, a refreshing change of pace having like three friends his age and they all got along 
and they work that part-time job for uh, a long time. Not not like a super long time, but longer than he worked other jobs. But then at at the same timing, the other three, the three friends, they all quit together. They all quit together and they left Daigo behind. So uh, the reason why they they quit was because they were all uh, university students. They were all fourth uh, fourth year university students. So they were going to graduate and then get their careers and their real jobs. So Daigo said that he felt hurt. He felt hurt because this is kind of deep, but he said like, he said, oh, my, like, my friends from the job, they were just stopping by. He's like, they were just stopping by at the job. Like, their life is is going on a, a track. And the the part-time job was just, like, one stop on their life. So Daigo said, I felt like we were getting along and I felt like we related, but then I realized I was different from them. All those three guys had somewhere to go, but only me. I was the only one who had nowhere to go, like, my life had no direction, and I was just left behind. So Daigo said he felt he felt hurt right there. He said, yeah, I was different from them. So yeah, he was, he was hurt by that. So, so then even though he said, yeah, so that was kind of a wake-up call for Daigo. Daigo said he never really thought about the future. He never really thought about his own future up until 22. He never worried about it. But after that incident, he said he became a little um, anxious, a little uncertain. And he said, uh-oh, this is dangerous. I need to think about my own future. So then, <laughs> so Daigo's was kind of so Daigo's really uh, nervous and really anxious. He said, Well, what the hell can I do? I don't have any education, I don't have any certification, any qualifications, I'm not good at talking to people. Like what option is there left for me? What can I do? So then I decided to enter the world of Mahjong. Which is not a it's not a good place. ね、ま、マージャンの話っていうのは、うーん、過去のその本とかでも結構書いてあるので、ま、ここでは省いて。で、その道中で親しみとかも、今日はあんまり話をしなくてもいいかなと。so yeah, he said he wrote a lot about his mahjong life. Hold on one second. He wrote a lot about his mahjong life in the book. What does he tell me rip for? Oh, no, it's different. All right, good. Anyway, he said he wrote a lot about of the, his Mahjong life in the book, and it was in the past, and this is a business meeting, so he shouldn't talk about Mahjong because it doesn't help. Mahjong doesn't help what he's trying to talk about. So he said, if you're interested... So then after the Mahjong, he said, read the book if you want to see it. After Mahjong, he worked at the nursing. Yeah. So why would I get into the nursing industry after that? Mm. So he... そういうことも子供の頃からやってるから、もう分かったよっていう感じなんですよ。all right, so Daigo played fighting games and then he went into Mahjong and then he went into the rehabilitation or like the nursing, whatever. So he said, why did I go into the nursing industry? Like, why did I get involved in that? And he said, well, my whole life, like half my life uh, up until that point had been a battle. 
right? It'd be in a contest, win or lose, because, you know, gaming and Mahjong is competitive, right? You always have to win or lose. So Daigo said he was good. He was good at, like, all the competition. So he was very brash, and, like, he knew he knew how to win. Like, he knew how to win. But the thing is, even when he would win, it wasn't actually good for his life. Like, it, if you win, like, a fighting game tournament, Maybe that's good, you won, but it doesn't really help your life out. So he said he wanted to try living without any, like, living a life without any battles, without any competition, where it didn't matter if you won or lost. So that's why he got into the nursing. Also, his parents were related to the industry. So they helped him out with his influence, and then he got into the nursing. He really loved it. He really loved, just like he imagined, he loved working the nursing. There's no winning or losing. <laughs> he said, wow, doesn't matter if I win or lose, I can still help people out and get money. So this is amazing. Doesn't matter if I win or lose, I can help everyone out and I can get paid for. He really was impressed by the nursing job. He was very thankful and grateful for that. <笑>普通の人になれそうだな。勝負がないとダメな人間だった勝負のもう中毒ですよね。勝負中毒、勝負がないともう生きていけそうだなって。<笑> No, no. All right, so Daigo said, um, so he was doing the nursing, and he kept doing the nursing for a decent amount of time. And he said, finally, like finally, after continuing the nursing, he said, I didn't know if I was going to do it for the rest of my life, but I felt like I was finally becoming a normal person. I was finally becoming a normal human being. He's, he said, up until now, like I was so focused on competition and battling he said it's like a disease it's like poison he's like i was poisoned by the need for competition but i felt like i'd finally gotten over that and i was becoming a normal person who could live a life without having to worry about that but right when i was about right when i was reaching that point the new version of street fighter came out <laughs> So right there, all my friends were saying, New Street Fighter's coming out, New Street Fighter's coming out. I said, huh? So Daigo was saying, man, I really did used to love Street Fighter. Yeah. Yeah. So when the New Street Fighter 4 was coming out, uh, his friends were like, hey, new Street Fighter, new Street Fighter. And Daigo at first was like, oh, really? I really, like, he remembered how much he loved fighting games and how much he loved Street Fighter growing up. But then he remembered how addicted to the games he was. And he said, I don't want to go back into that that life of where everything is a battle. So in the beginning, he said no. He didn't want to play. He turned all his friends away for Street Fighter. But... ま、介護やってる頃ってのは27ぐらいですから。だから彼これ 4、5 Sounds like a drug dealer story. So he said from 22 was when he quit fighting games. Like the story about him at the restaurant where his coworkers all quit. 
Uh, so from 22 to 27, Daigo hadn't played games. But he said all of his old friends from back when he was 22, like the fighting game friends, they kept bothering him. They, they were really persistent. They're like, come on, Daigo, come on, come on, come on, come back. So finally, Daigo gave in and went to the arcade. He said it's been, it was so long. It was like five years he didn't play fighting games at all. Like he hadn't touched them in five years. He went to the arcade and he was winning. He's like, I was winning. I was able to win. Like, I was winning. Daigo was like, I thought I was a genius. ブランクあったんですよ。2年とか3年ぐらいはブランクあって、まあもちろん全く差はないってことはなかったですが、当時の若い頃の取り組みからすれば、うん、10分の1以下、もっとかな。もっとやってなかったと思います。だから完全にも
So the guy was happy that he could work there, but it was all he was still kind of suffering. It was still painful that he wasn't good at anything. Sondago said he had a very dark mindset. Um, at the time, he thought he was a failure. Like he said, it's, it's too late, right? I'm a failure. Uh, when I was a kid, I messed up, I failed, and there's nothing left for me. Like, I have to just deal with, like, deal with what I've done, and I'm just gonna have to keep doing these jobs for the rest of my life as, you know, a, a, a loser. で、その時にああ、やってもいいかなって。うん、格闘ゲームずっと うーん。で、若い頃は周りはね、お前格闘ゲームなんかうまくて何になるんだってこういう風に言ってたけど、それでもちょっと期待があったんですよ。もしかしたらたかがゲームだけど人と人との勝負だから、うん、ずっと勝
he went back and he played the games and he enjoyed it, but still there was no such thing as like a pro gamer at that point. Nobody was making money. So his dream at 27 was still like not real. So he thought maybe I can just play games. Maybe I can just live a normal life, like doing a normal job and play fighting games too on the side, but not as crazy as before and give up on that dream of, he, like he doesn't, not pro gamer because there was no such thing as a pro gamer, but that dream that he could somehow make a living by playing games. なんとなくゲームをしてるって。ただそれだけなんですけど、周りから見るとそうじゃなかったみたいなんですね。っていうのは結構勝ってましたから。全国大会とか世界大会とか勝ってたから、周りの人間からすればあいつどうしたんだって
So he said, yeah. And so even though I wasn't practicing, he said, he said like good things happen in life sometimes. So he said, even though I wasn't practicing and I didn't really feel like like entering, he's like, I won. I, I won. I won the na- the international, like the, the global finals. He's like, I won. Uh, he said, yeah, even though I wasn't really practicing, I won. And then um, everyone around me started getting really, really hype and really excited. And he said, Dai goes back. Dai goes back. Like, he's back. He's back. He won the, the national, the world tournament. He's back. So everyone got really excited. Yo, Mark. Yo, Mark Man. Mark Man, you hear? うん、そういう生活面というか経済的な理由で格闘ゲームを真剣にもうやることができないみたいだと。で、だけどそういう理由でまたこいつが格闘ゲームを世界からいなくなるのはこのコミュニティにとっても良くないからマイナスだからもし
or was it five years where he quit the quit the game yeah. He said, <laughs> he said he would go. Daigo said he would go. So he was excited for the offer, but then he remembered, like, remember he was, like, depressed in that, during that time. So he was saying that. Uh, he now he's just giving a little flashback. He's like, well, what did you do? Like, what did you do? You played games your whole life from 11 until 22. He said whether it was sunny, whether it was rainy, even in a typhoon, he would go to the arcade. And he said, why would you go to the arcade in a typhoon? There's no one there to fight. But Daigo felt if I didn't go to the arcade in a typhoon and someone else did, Daigo said he felt like he would have lost. He lost. He's a nut. No matter what, Daigo would go to the arcade. <laughs> But yeah, so he like he spent all those years, he grinded like crazy, like he he pretty much threw his life away for, for video games like growing up and he got nothing, he got nothing from it. Then Mahjong too, like he he didn't talk about it in this this conversation, but he grinded Mahjong crazy. He grinded Mahjong like crazy as well, but again he quit. Like he didn't really get anything. He didn't really gain anything from that. So he thought he spent his whole life always thinking maybe maybe he was meant to be in the the competitive world that's what he he lived his whole life thinking but then he thought you know what no maybe i'm not that that's when he started working the um the nursing job right so mahjong and fighting games are competitive and then he never got anything from those and like he actually like he he got hurt by them and then he started working in the nursing and he he said maybe I'm not about the competitive life. Maybe I'm about the normal life. そうやって一時的な盛り上がり、熱狂。久しぶりに出て帰ってきたやつが優勝したっていう人と一時のこう興奮でお前プロとしてやってみないかって言われてもいやこっちは人生かかってんだよって。そんな散々そういうこと期待
幸せな人生とそうじゃない人生、まあ、両方とも2通りあると思うんですよね全部で4通りあるとでその時にプログラマーになって失敗した時に後悔するのかなって思うと後悔しないような気がするでもプロになんないで自分の唯一得意なもので勝負しないで安,安定だかどうだかわからないですけどね勝負やらない仕事生き方をした時に旗から見ててうまくいってるように見えても自分の中にはずっとあの時俺チャレンジしたらどうなってたんだろうっていうモヤモヤは残るなってこれは簡単に予想がついたんですよね絶対後悔を引きずる人生になるはたから見てどう,ど,どうかは分かんないですよプロゲーマーチャレンジしない方が世間の人から見れば立派な人生に見えるかもしれないけど、oh, 俺自身は絶対に幸せになれないなと、うん、途中で気づいてでよし分かりましたじゃあ一緒にプロゲーマーをやりましょうと OK so alright so first he said <laughs> I don't know if he's talking about Markman, but he said he turned, down, he turned down the offer to be a pro gamer, right? Because, like I explained, he gave up on that life. But he said, but the Mad Cats people were very, very, very persistent. They kept saying, no, no, don't say that. Don't say that. Come on. Come on. Be a pro gamer. Join us. Join us. So they kept, even though he turned him down, he kept, or they kept asking him, come on, come on.、Uh, be a pro gamer. So. Daigo was thinking, he was thinking, he's like, well, obviously, since I'm up here speaking, you know the answer that I chose, but、uh, the way I was thinking about it, I was, I was really lost. And so I was thinking about my options. So he said, there are four options, right? He said,、uh, or four possible outcomes. He said, I could be a pro gamer and succeed, I could be a pro gamer and fail. Or I could turn down the pro gamer offer and I could、uh, like succeed or be happy. I could be happy as a non pro gamer. Or I could turn down the pro gamer offer and like fail, have like a normal life where I, everything goes wrong. So those are the four options, right? So he said, if I became a pro gamer and succeeded, like that would be the best one.、Uh, but what he realized there were like, Between two and three. If he became a pro gamer and failed, Daigo said he felt like he would have no regrets. right? If he became a pro gamer and failed, he said, I feel like I wouldn't regret that decision at all. It would be fine. He's like, But on the other hand, if I、uh, lived a normal life and I succeeded, and maybe everyone around me was, was praising me and said, Wow, Daigo, you're, you're living a really good life and like, you have a really like, steady job. He's like, even if it looked like I was successful, me personally, I wouldn't be happy. He said he would always have that, that feeling of, I didn't take the chance, right? I never, I never took the chance of what, like, I never took the battle. I never challenged myself in the, the world that was most suited for me. So he realized failing as a pro gamer would be fine. It would be better for him to fail as a pro gamer than to succeed as a non pro gamer. So he said, once I realized that, I decided, you know what?、Uh, okay, I'll do it. I'll become a pro gamer. And so he accepted the Mad Cat's offer. So 2010. 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 He said, finally. 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 He said, どういうふうにプロゲーマーとしてどういうふうにできたのかっていうことを、うん、次は簡単に、えー、お話ししようかなと思います。Okay, so he said the next part of the speech, so that first part was him just explaining how he became a pro gamer. And then he said, 
2010, so it's been seven years, and he's like, I don't want to say that I've just been winning the whole time. He's like, I made a lot of mistakes. I failed a lot. Uh, but he's like, ne- for the next part, I want to explain to you how I continue to keep winning and keep staying on top. And he said, I don't want to sound like I don't want to talk big. I don't want to sound like I'm a, a big talker, but I just want to explain. And hopefully it'll help you out with your, your own like business skills here. あの、意味あるのかどうかなんて関係ない。とにかく Crazy. So he said, once I decided, once I agreed with Mad Cats to become a pro gamer, I went all in. Like I went all in. He said, so the first year when I was a pro gamer, I would play 18 hours a day. He would play 18 hours a day. And then like on some days, like on an easy day, he'd only play 14 hours a day. But he said, Whenever I wasn't eating, sleeping, or using the restroom, I was looking at the screen. I was playing on the screen. He said he felt like he had to. He didn't know he didn't know what the reason was. He didn't know whether it was good or not, but he just had he felt like he had to play eighteen hours a day. Uh, he said this is his, it was his dream from whenever he was a kid. So finally, after all these years, uh, he finally got his dream job, a job where other people, were praising him. They're like, wow, people were praising him. People were jealous of his job. Like he had the best job. He was able to do what he loved to do as work. So he felt this need to go 100% in. He said, yeah, I ended up winning the world tournament that year. So, so I felt... So he won the uh, he won the world tournament. I guess Evo is what he's talking about there. So he won Evo, uh, and he felt what is the word redeemed? Not redeemed. He felt like it was worth it. He felt like I did it. I did it. Like the eighteen hours a day, it was worth it. I won. I won. It was all good.目が、この瞼とこの下のところがずっと痙攣してるんです。1日中。画面見る見ない関係なく。生きて起きてる間ずっと目がこうブルブルブルブル痙攣してるんですよ。疲れてるんでしょうね、多分ね。あんまり別に
、それが何だって。顔にできものがなんだ、まあ、目が痙攣するのがなんだそんなことあの自分の何のために生まれてきたんだろうななんて考えてた頃に比べればよ全然マシだろうってこんなん試練だからへっちゃらだって思ってやる。So、uh, after the twitch, Daigo said the next, the next sign was his, his face. So he, he never really had pimples or acne. But he said he began to get like acne and pimples on his face for the first time in his life. And Daigo was shocked. But he said, You know what? Like, who cares? I don't care. He's like, What was I born for? Like, I was born for this to play jobs. Like, I, there's no way I could stop. So he continued with the, the 18 hour a day practice. He said he didn't care. Didn't care about the eye twitch, didn't care about the pimples. There was no giving up, there's no stopping. He just played through it. He did not care. Kept practicing. でもやっぱり自分ではそう思ってても肉体とか精神は徐々にこう疲労が溜まっていって次第に勝てなくなっていくんですよね練習時間は誰よりもやってるんですけど勝率がどんどん落ちていく格闘ゲームっていうのはま
He said, this is my job, right? It's my job. I have to play. He's like, but I can't, there's no way I could make this my job if I, if I throw up. Like, if I can't even use the equipment, like, I can't do this as a job. But I couldn't quit. I couldn't tell everyone, like, oh, hey, sorry, I worked too hard. Uh, I'm quitting. Thanks for the opportunity. So he couldn't quit, but he couldn't play. He was in a, in a dilemma here. He said, I have to get, get over this somehow. え、so he said, so he, he needed to figure out how to like cure himself from this, this, this sickness, this stress or whatever it was. But then, so he was thinking, he, he was trying to think and then he realized, wait a second, why am I playing 18 hours a day? Like for whose sake am I playing 18 hours a day? It was something that he decided like for his own, he decided it on his own for no reason at all. He felt like he had to do 18 hours a day. He said, my job as a pro player was just to like enter tournaments, uh, play well, like entertain the crowd and like win tournaments. He's like, as long as I do that, it doesn't matter. It, even if I only practiced five hours a day, but I got stronger, that's, that's what's most important. <laughs> もうゲームを見たくもなくなっちゃうから。じゃあ、自分にとって一番プレイの質が向上していくゲームがうまくなっていく、成長していく時間とか練習方法って何なんだろうって、そっから僕のそういうあの活続ける意志力だったりだとか
継続して努力をする必要があるとでじゃあ継続して努力するってどういうことなんだろうさっきの言った1年目の自分みたいに全然面白くない気持ち悪いけど体に無理をさせて18時間練習したらさ努力なのかってそれは違いますよね違うっていうのは1年目で自分自身が証明しちゃってるからということはきちんと成長してうん自分なんていうのかな意味のある努力ですよね自分が前に進んでいるそういう努力を継続させなきゃいけない Okay, so he said, All right, so how do you prevent yourself from being bored? He said, Well, first, let me tell you about fighting games. So, in fighting games, you have to work hard.、Uh, there's no, even if you're like a talented, even if you have natural talent, if you don't work, if you don't grind, if you don't practice, you won't succeed. Or he said, At least I have yet to see someone like that.、Um, so, you have to work hard. And、uh, The thing is, you have to work hard but also work smart. So he, he likened it back to his first year where he's working 18 hours a day. He's like, Yes, I was working harder than anybody, but that's not, that's not a level of effort that could continue. Like, I could not keep that up, as that's why he destroyed his body with stress. So he's saying, Yes, you need to、uh, work hard in a meaningful way where you can feel yourself improving. でじゃあなんでそれが秋っていう話とかか関係してくるのかっていうとゲームって好きなことだし遊びだからまあ当然楽しいですよねじゃあ楽しいこと仕事にしてんだから飽きる心配ないんじゃないのってこう聞かれることあるんですけどまあそんな甘いもんじゃなくってやっぱりゲームっていうのは人が作ったもんだしというかゲームに限らず何だって同じことやってりゃ飽きますよね。So he's like, why, why am I talking about getting bored or getting tired? He's like, people always often ask me, games are fun, right? Games are fun. Games are something you like. So if you can work playing games, doing something you like, then there's no way you'll ever get bored, right? n a g a said, no, it's not that simple. It's not that simple.、Uh, first of all, games are something that are made by people, right? It's something that other people make. And you, you do do a lot of the same things in fighting games. Especially me, I've been playing fighting games since I was 11. <laughs> He's already played enough. He's been playing fighting games since 11. He's already played enough fighting games for his life, he said, right? He's fine. But in that way, I don't have any sense of joy in my life. I don't have any sense of joy in my life. Oh, this is a big part here.、Uh, So that, that's the, the clip that got like 50,000 retweets or something. So Daigo said, as a player, as a fighting game player, or just anyone who's trying to improve, he said, the most important thing is to keep things feeling fresh. You need to make sure everything feels new and fresh and exciting. He said, let me tell you a story. So often in fighting games, I go to the arcade and I'll see some new players that are practicing like crazy. They're, they're playing a lot and they're really excited. They're really into the game.、Uh, but then I go back and I don't see them there.、Uh, they're not playing anymore. And then I run into them again and I say, hey, what happened? What happened?、Uh, what happened? You don't play the game anymore? And they said, no, I don't play the game. And I say, why? And they say, I'm bored. So Daigo says, bored of what? And they say, bored of the game. But Daigo thinks, no, they're wrong. They're not bored of the game.、Uh, they're bored of not improving. They're like, so every day they go and play in the arcade, but they're doing the same thing, right? What they did yesterday and what they did today are the same. So they're bored. He says, it's not the game's fault, it's their fault for not improving, for not developing. Seichou ga jikkan dekite leba, game da ro ga nan da ro ga, a kill te koto wa nai. 
Yes. If you can keep improving, whether it's a game or whatever you're talking about in life, if you can feel a sense of improvement, then you won't get bored. Yes. So, yes. so said, again, like not only, so whether it's work or whatever, it's not just about you're putting in effort and hard work. Uh, you also have to feel growth. You have to feel growth. So if you can feel growth and improvement from your effort, then hu as a human, you will not get bored. You will not get tired of whatever it is. And then it's kind of like a cycle, right? It's like a cycle. So you work hard and you see improvement. And then you see improvement, so you're willing to work hard. And then you work hard and improvement. So it's like a, a, a loop that will allow you to continue moving forward and just always getting better and always continuing to do uh, what you want to do. Yeah, so again. で、とは言っても成長ってそのゲームをやり始めの頃とじゃ so this, this is also very important here. So he said, look, for example, talk about me. So playing fighting games, he's like, your improvement in one year or two years or five years or 10 years, he said, no matter what happens, no matter what you do, your improvement is going to drop. It's just natural, right? The more you do something, the better you get at it, the slower your improvement starts going up or your the rate at which you improve goes down, right? That's obvious. So... He said, so you need to think, you, you have to start thinking like how, how am I getting better? Or like, how am I improving? How am I getting better? So Daigo said he began to start to prevent himself and to, to defend against him feeling like he plateaued. He began to take a memo, like a note. He used to carry a notebook around. So today I discovered this, or today I noticed this, or today I became able to do this. He had a notebook. He would keep track of his improvements. Okay, so he said he would keep the notebook. So he said, maybe I would wake up, I would wake up today and yesterday I went to the arcade and I was thinking, what did I learn yesterday? What did I, what did I do yesterday? So I would look at my memo and I would say, oh yeah, I discovered that yesterday. So I felt that Yesterday, I was stronger than I was two days ago, and that today, I'm going to be stronger than I was yesterday. So that would give me the motivation to go to the arcade and continue to learn and continue to improve. あり得ますよね。俺は僕はなかったですけど。そういうふうに思ったことなかったですけど、あり得ますよね。で、それを防ぐために、防ぐというか、成長を実感しやすくするために意識的に変化をするっていうことをさらに加えました。So <笑> you said sometimes though, no matter what, no matter what happens, sometimes you will go to practice and you'll go to train, but nothing, no matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you think, nothing will, will come from your training that day. He said, it never happened to me though. Daga said, it never happened to me, but maybe it happens. Uh, so to defend against that or to prevent against that, uh, 
you should try to consciously change. You should try to consciously change things or you should make it a point to do something different or like instead of just try, waiting to discover something, he said actively try and change something. めちゃめちゃ強いですね。90%って。ま、どこでやってるかによりますけど、もし、え、日本の一番流行ってる、例えば新宿とかで95%だったら、それはもう世界一強いですね。間違いなく。だけど、もしその95%の勝率のある人が
、で変化っていうのはどこまでじゃあ変化させるんだ難しいとこですよね、うん、普段の仕事のが10あるとして全部10変えちゃっていいのかってそんなわけないですよね10変えちゃったらしばらく違う仕事になっちゃうからでも普段これはここからここまでは絶対にやらなきゃいけないと思ってる作業の中って本当に変えちゃいけないのってその10のうち全部変えちゃいけないってことってありえるのかなって僕はそんなことないと思ってるんですねそんなわけがないそんな厳密なまあそれは実験とかの世界だったら分かんないですけど普通の仕事で今ある仕事が 100% 完璧だ一切変,え変化させる余地がないなんてことは僕はありえないと思ってますね。So、uh, earlier before the crash, Daigo was talking about the win rates at the arcade, right? About having 95% and then if you don't change, if you don't improve, you might start losing. But he says it's okay to change, it's okay to lose if you're changing. But how much can you change? For example,、uh, it's kind of hard to, to translate. He says, for example, let's say your, your best work is a 10. Let's say like, your max is a 10. He's like, is it possible? You can't change all 10. If you change, like, how much is it okay to change? If you go from 10 and you change all 10, he's like, you can't do that because it'll become a completely different thing. But what is the correct amount of what you can change? He said, I don't think that there's anything. There's, I don't think that there's any like, perfect, perfect work where nothing can be changed. He says, There's always something that can be changed or improved. That's what Daigo thinks. でそのじゃあ自分の中で今10あるけど9は今まで通りにやってみようあとの1はちょっと自由にやってみようかな少し悪い結果が起きるかもしれないけどこの1を変えてもそんなに大きな影響はないからこの1をちょっと変えてみることで発見はないかな。So I said, let's look at it like this. Let's pretend that say your best is a 10. He said, How about instead of you always do a 10, right? You always do a 10. He says, How about if instead of always doing a 10, how about I just do 9? I go up to 9 like I always do. And then with the rest, I try something new. I do something free. I try something new. Maybe the result won't be as good, but it won't be that different. And、uh, with that little bit of freedom, with that little bit of change, maybe I'll be able to discover something new or I'll have an, a breakthrough. So why don't. We try that. でやっぱり発見あるんですよ。1変えてみると。あれなんか、今まで知らなかったこと知れたぞ。気がつかなかったこと気づいたぞ。これは僕の中では成長ですから。知らないこと知るっていうのは。So that you said, and it does happen. He's like, when you do change that one, when you change that one, you do. You discover new things. You notice something new, or you understand something new. He said, and to me, That's growth. That's improvement. Whenever you come to know something that you didn't know before, that's improvement to Daigo. So, so, you have to change the one of the things that you have to do. You have to change the one of the things that you have to do. You have to change the one of the things that you have to do. You have to change the one of the things that you have to do. You have to change the one of the things that you have to do. You have to change the one of とんでもない。蓋開けてみりゃ、三割まで変えていいんじゃないか。こういうことって結構あると思います。So he said, and while I was playing around, while I was experimenting, one day I had a breakthrough. I realized, you know what? Instead of going nine and one and changing that one, he's like, how about I change two? How about I change two? You know what? I could even change three, right?、Uh, he said, I spent up until now, I, I always assumed that like ten. Was perfect in the correct way. It's like, but once I started experimenting, I realized no, I can change things around, right? So、uh, instead of doing like the 10 normal, he's like, you can do three. You can try changing three things, doing 70% like you normally do, and then just experiment with the rest. Hmm. So, yeah, they call Jojo and Jojo, and 
変化の幅を増やしていって知ってることできることそういうものを増やしていくのがまあ勝ち続けるために必要なことなのかなと思います。Daigo thinks that is very, very important. So, in able to continue staying on top and continue winning, you have to constantly be changing. So, whenever you're changing, you become able to do new things, you gain new knowledge, you gain new skills. So, you're always improving. So, that, that's the before the crash when Daigo was talking about the forced, forced changing, changing yourself, forcing yourself to try new things to improve. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he, he's shilling his book out. He says, Sorry, this is a very shallow explanation. I wrote more about it in my book. If you're interested, please read the book. It tells you all about it. Now he's finally. <laughs> so Daga said, Now,、uh, earlier too, Uh, at the very start, if you weren't watching in the beginning, Daigo said that he changed his.、Um, God damn, it's bright. He changed his, his plan. He changed like, the topic of his lecture, right? He, he changed it. So he said, now we get to the main point. This is what I wanted to talk about. He said, unfortunately, I feel like this is the most boring part. He's like, I, I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but this is the main part that he wants to talk about. This is his first time ever speaking about this in front of people. So he has no idea how everyone will react to it. Whenever you, whenever you, yeah. Yeah. So he said, whenever you do an interview, like whenever Daigo talks in an interview, it's a one on one. And so the interviewee or the interviewer will give you feedback. They'll go, like, oh, really? Is that so? So that gives Daigo the confidence to, or not Daigo, but that gives anybody the confidence to speak like, about what they want to speak because they get the reaction. But Daigo is talking from the crowd, so there's no reaction. So Daigo doesn't know. He's like, What I want to talk about is my own feelings, and it's really important to me, but I have no idea if it will like, affect you guys or has anything to do with you. But Tag is very nervous.、まあ、ももでもそれでもそのの But he feels like it's something that he has to talk about. Yeah. Yes. So he has to talk about it. Daigo is someone who is always willing to talk about like, what he feels. So he says, not talking about it is, wouldn't match his character. So he's going to talk about this.、Mm-hmm. So sorry, this is really sudden.、Uh, What? So Daigo said, he said, sorry to ask you guys this suddenly. Sorry to ask you this suddenly. It might be a little bit rude, but do you, do you guys know what happiness is? Or like fulfillment? He said, jujits, right? Like, do you, are you familiar? Like, are you happy? Are you satisfied with your life? Or here, let me, let me change you, or let me change the question. He said, Are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying life? Are you enjoying. Yeah. And yeah, he just asked, like, Are you. Are you, do you, have a, are you happy? Are you happy with, with your life? Like, He says, Daigo says, I only know my own life. He's like, I only know me. I only know my own feelings, my own life. I don't know what other people are feeling, but he's asking you guys. Why am I asking you that? Yeah. <laughs> 
、えー、成長が僕の生きがいだってまあ確かにそう思ってましたし今でもそうなんですけど、うん、これ結構重要な問題で何のために成長するのかっていうことが自分の中で分からなくなっちゃうと幸せじゃないんだな Okay, so Daigo says, so Daigo says, I read a lot of books, and like in my books, I talk about、um, you should improve, right? You should focus on improving yourself. You should focus on getting better.、Uh, you should, like, the will to keep winning. He's like, I sound like very stuck up. He's like, I talk like very high and mighty. He's like, but I do believe all those things. I do believe in you should improve. But really, what you need to think is like, sometimes you lose track of why, why you're improving. So, Daigo said, if you lose track of why you're improving,、uh, you will lose your happiness, right? Even if you're doing better,、uh, if, you, if you don't know why, you won't be happy. So, Daigo just recently realized that. He's going to say it straight, but for two years. So, Daigo saying straight up, this was actually shocking. I remember this. So, Daigo said, I'm going to tell you guys straight right now. This is in the crowd of 300 people, right? And like 4,000, five, I forget how many people. But Daigo says, I'm going to just say it straight. So, for about two years, like what, what is it? He says, 2017 right now. He says, in 2015,、uh, I just I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. Like, I was not happy. I did not think life was happy or fun. I thought, I thought, what the hell is wrong with these? Am I stressed out? I would have understood, like, because I am stressed out during tournament season, but even when there were no tournaments, I still felt that way. Am I getting old? Well, it could be. Maybe I'm getting old, but there are other people my age that are going crazy, they're having a great life. What's wrong with me? I, I never felt this way when I was young. Daigo said he, he said he never felt this way when he was younger. He felt that life was boring. Is this all that life has to offer? He says, Is my life just going to end like this? I felt that often.、Mm. He's like, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I was like super depressed. I wasn't like super depressed. I could still go to a fun place and enjoy myself and I could still focus on games, but I always had this feeling in the back of my head that like something's wrong. Like this is not fun. There's something boring. Like this is not fun. For, for two years, it continued. But just recently, just really recently, he, he got over it and life's been fun again. Okay, so just recently,、uh, from 2015 to just recently, he said he'd been kind of depressed and life, he felt life wasn't fun, he was bored. But just recently, he got over it. And he said the reason why was he, he said he kept saying he was bored, he was bored, he was bored, but he didn't understand why. But he recently just understood what was causing him that kind of depression. This part's funny. He says, So I'm going to talk about, talk about the game for now. It's Grief Fighter 5.
So he said, so recently, he's like, recently uh, in the fighting game, there was recently a version up. He's like, for you guys that don't play fighting games, I'll explain like a version up. Imagine that the laws changed. Like in the real world, if laws suddenly changed. So things that used to think were right are now wrong. And characters that used to be strong are now weak. Characters that used to be weak are now strong. He's like, everything just changed recently. So he's saying, the character I used to use, <laughs> you guys know what he's talking about, but he said, so if I just give a really simple explanation, the character I used to use became weak this year. The strong character I used to use became weak. So then he said, and then my sub character, if you don't know what a sub character is, it's a character that you play not as your main, but you're familiar with and you can use. He said, well, one of my sub characters became incredibly strong. He said, what, what would you do at a time like this? あ、プロゲーマーってことになれば、なおさらそうですね。え、賞金も今じゃね、去年の 1% so he said, what would you do in a situation like this where your character was nerfed and then your sub-character became incredibly strong? He said, almost 100% of the people would go and pick the stronger character. He said, especially as a pro gamer, because as a pro gamer, you want to win. And he said, the biggest tournament last year, the prize was like, what was it, 270,000 I don't know. I can, I can never do the numbers, but you know, like the 250,000 Capcom Cup. He said, there's the money and then there's my responsibility to the sponsor and then also the hopes of the people around me, like my fans. He's like, I have to answer all of these. So even if it's only 1%, a fighting game player, even if it's only 1% like increase in effectiveness, they'll, they should take that option, right? It seems obvious to always choose the option that will give you the highest percent to win, even if it's something as small as 1%. So Daigo said, yeah. So I, I started using the strong character. And that's... Oh, yeah. うん、前のパートナーみたいな感じですよね。前のパートナーの方のキャラを So uh, he said, so I did. I actually started to use the strong character. He said, I started to play the strong character. And don't get me wrong, the character was incredibly strong. But when I played him, that sickness came back. That depression came back to me. I didn't know why. I said, why? Like, why am I feeling this way again? Why am I feeling this, this, this depression, this sense of boredom? He's like, well, the character that became weak the character that i was using who became weak he's like he's like my old partner my old partner i don't know what it is but he's like when i play that character the weak character i get a sense of famil f uh, i get a sense of fulfillment that i used to have as a kid when when daigo was a, a kid when like he early explained about when he was a maniac about fighting games he says i i get that feeling of enjoyment and fulfillment again by playing that weak character so there's no good explanation, there's no reason, there's no rhyme or reason, but I want to play that character. I want to play that character, the weak character. But why? But why do I want to play that character? I don't know. I can't think. 
自分で決めてなかったんですよねここ2年ぐらい自分で決めてなかった周りから見ればあいつは自分で決めてるっていうふうに見えるはずです実際、うん、立場を考えると相当自由にやってる方だと思いますけどでもやっぱりこう自分の中に少しずつ少しずつまあでもスポンサーもいるしギネスもまた受賞したしテレビにも出たし雑誌にも載ったしっていうことがちょっとずつちょっとずつ自分を変えていってるんですよねだから本当に自分がやりたいこと自分が好きなことっていうのが分かんなくなってきてる。Alright, listen up. So this is, this is important here. This is one of the reasons why I'm doing this. So I see a lot of people in the chat like, like listen up. I'll do my best to try and translate this. It's not that simple, right? I see all these random tweets or random like event hubs comments that are like, Daigo's doing this, Daigo's doing this. So he's explaining why he's picking this character because it's so much more than just the game. So he said, I realized why did I get this sense of fulfill or fulfillment by playing the weak character? And I got depressed when I played the strong character. And he's like, I thought back to the two years, 2015 and 2017, where I was depressed and I was, I was not happy with life. And I realized that for those two years, I, I had lost control of my life. I wasn't making my own decisions, I wasn't deciding things for myself. He said, To everyone around me, I'm sure everyone else who was watching me. Might have thought that I was living a free life and I was doing whatever I want and I was deciding everything. He's like, but it wasn't like that. For those two years, I had to worry about my sponsors. I had to worry about、uh, people's expectations and I had to worry about everyone else. And I lost sight of what I wanted, what I personally wanted to do, and like my original goal, my original motivation. I lost sight of that. And that's why he was depressed for the two years. で周りの価値観に合わせ始めてたんですよね。プロだし、the... えー、e スポーツ、うん、e、スポーツゲーム業界盛り上がってきたし、勝つべきでしょう、うん、とか、これ何々するべきでしょう。で、その何々するべきでしょうっていう理屈から言えば、今の弱いキャラを選ぶっていうのはとんでもない行為なんですよね。うん、皆さんからするとなんで勝てないなんで勝てる方やんないのなんでわざわざ勝ちづらい方やるのっていうことになるかもしれないんですけど、まあ、もちろんそのまたねルールが変わって、えー、そのルールが変わった時にいかんだけ弱くなってんだからもうちょっとまともになるだろうルールの方がまともになるだろうっていう計算もあるにはあるんですが仮にそうならなかったとしても。So he said, for the first time in his life, for those two years, so like two years ago when Daigo, I guess, is 30, 34, 33, 34, so for the first time in his life, he began to try and、uh, match what the people around him were doing, right? He began to like, listen to them and follow them. Uh, so he said, the fact now picking a weak character is incredibly strong. Like to go, against, to go against what's expected of him and to pick this weak character is incredibly like a strong decision. Because everyone is asking him, why are you picking the harder to win character? Why are you picking the weak character? Why aren't you taking the easy way?、Uh, so Daga said, it, it might be true because the rules have just changed. So. Maybe, maybe Ryu's not that weak. Oh, oh I, said, I said his name, sorry. Maybe the weak character is not that weak. Maybe after we understand things, he'll become better. But even if he stays weak, I want to stick with the weak character. I want to make my own decision. So let me tell you a story about my friend. She's a female. 彼氏がいますよね彼の付き合ってる人がいたときに常に親から
もっといい人捕まえる努力をしつつ付き合いなさいって言われるらしいんですよすごいですよねだから彼氏,彼氏がいるのに出会いの場には必ず行けるってこういうふうに親が言うらしいんですよでお前はお前にとって最高のそのまあ言い方悪いけど条件の男と付き合いそして結婚しろってこういうふうに言うらしいんですね So, Daigo is telling a story about his friend. Is a, a girl. So, this girl had a boyfriend. So, she was dating somebody. And then her parents told her, even though she has a boyfriend, said, You need to go and find a better, better boyfriend. So, even though you're dating a guy, you need to go out to places where you can meet and find a, a new guy, a guy who's better, a guy who's better than your current boyfriend. So, her parents told her that. Daigo thought that, wow. That's crazy. Wow, I can't believe parents would force you to do something like that. That's amazing. But I understand you don't want to let your parents down, right? Yeah, you should, you should, try, and, you should try and make your parents happy. So. でいい会社入ってて家柄良くて話が面白くて食事の趣味も合うお,お前ついに出会ったね良かったね我慢してて So suddenly that girl who was looking for a better boyfriend to make her parents happy she found somebody she found a guy who was a Todai graduate he's rich handsome tall like good face like interesting like a perfect found like a perfect partner So Daga was like, holy crap, like, wow, congratulations. So Daga was like, wow, wow, amazing, you found this guy. But the girl said, there's something off, like, but Daga said, it doesn't matter, like, this is, this is like the perfect guy, right? So then Daga heard that she got a boyfriend. So Daga thought she was dating the, like the, Daga thought she was dating like the really, really like perfect guy. Oh, what? <laughs> so the girl found the perfect guy, right? The girl found that perfect guy. So Daigo didn't see her for a while, and then he heard that she got a boyfriend, and Daigo was like, wow, like, congratulations, you started dating that guy, you, found, you met him. So she's like, no, I'm not dating that guy. And he was like, why? She's like, no, I, I went for, there's a different guy. So Dag was like, what? You found the guy that was even better than him? She's like, no, not really. Like, the, this guy's not rich. He's normal, normal face. Just he's a normal guy. Dag was like, what? And he's like, well, he was good. At, like, he was interesting at talking. So Dag was like, why would you? What? Yeah. That was it. She, he, was, he was good at talking. And Daga's like, what? That's it? That's it? Mm. So Daigo, so da even though Daigo was the girl's friend, right? When the girl said she was dating this normal guy, Daigo said, that's it? But Daigo said... He's like, but I realized, like, when I, when I said that, when I said, that's it? Why would you go after that guy? Daigo wasn't thinking about her. He was thinking about her parents. So, It's not your parents' life. So, 
、強くなった方っていうのは全部持ってる。ただ、全部持ってるっていうのは、人が決めたものですよ。はい。Listen up, event hubs. So Daigo said that it's not, it wasn't like, it's her life, it's not her parents' life. And he said, Daigo said, picking this weaker character now. It's kind of the same way that the girl picked the, the boyfriend that she liked. So,、uh, the strong character has everything, but the strong character, the strong boyfriend, they have everything. He's like, but what is everything? He's like, those are things that are decided by other people. Like, what's good and what's bad is decided by other people. <laughs> Like, yeah. So, like, who, who said graduating from this university is better than graduating from this university? Who said this is handsome? Who said, like, being tall is better than being short? Who said this is better than that? Everything is decided by people around you. And those values are always changing, right? Those values are changing every time period, like every location. Things are always changing and it's always decided by other people. So, Daigo thought, look, if. Things are always changing, right? What's considered good is always changing and it's decided by other people. If you're going to throw away, if you're going to lose what you personally think is good because other people say this is good, that's really stupid. And Daigo realized how smart and how like, impressive that girl was by choosing the guy, the normal guy, right? The normal guy that she liked over the guy that had everything, the guy that was perfect. So Daigo is impressed by her. She's living a really good life, a really smart life. Yeah. So that's it. Daigo said, Everyone's asking me, why am I not picking a strong character? Why am I not picking. Uh, the strong character, why am I picking the weak character? What's wrong with me? Dagger said, Well, the reason why is that the weaker character is more interesting to me, and that's it. But it's not just that.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. それまで人の価値観に流されないで生きてきたつもりだったけどなんかいろいろうまくいって周りからおだてられて持ち上げられてあ知らず知らずのうちに合わせてもうなんかすげえ人生つまんなくなるところだったな危なかったなって本当に最近気づいてでもプロになり始めた時に I don't know. So he said,、uh, it's, not, it's not just that. So this character is more interesting to him. But he said, those two years, those two years, I was depressed. I was in a really dark place for two years. And finally, I recovered. And every day I was enjoying, every day I'm enjoying my life. And life is great. Life is wonderful. And I realized how dangerous of a situation I was in where I assumed that I thought I was living my own life. I thought I was. Making my own decisions, but I was really just kind of trying to meet everyone's expectations and follow everyone's goals. So finally, I was freed from that. So, right, there's no way I could go back. Like, I have to keep living my own life. So he, had, 
大人が大人がって言っちゃうとあれですけど、まあ、大人が喜びそうなものがついてってでその時に So he says, so this, this whole situation reminds him of something that happened when he first became a pro gamer. So when he first became a pro gamer, the first year, he was really, really, really grateful and really happy.、Uh, he was able to play games, and then everyone was noticing him, and the media started writing about him, and he made television appearances, and everyone started like, focusing. Everyone started, like, Dago became famous, right? So he's becoming famous. But. He had a bad thought. What is this? What is this bad thought? <laughs> Someone, yo, let's get some Daigo fan art here.、Uh, so, Daigo, when he was becoming really, when he's coming really famous and really. Everyone is, is looking up to him. He said, I had a dark thought. And the thought was, This is my chance to get revenge. And he said, Get revenge on who? You might be asking, Who do I want to get revenge on? He's like, On society. Like, oh shit. Daigo Uchiha, right here, trying to get his revenge chance on society. But he's like, let me, tell you a, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story I had. When I was 20, I was going to a place called. Yeah. So, when Daigo is telling a story now, when Daigo was 20, when Daigo was 20 years old, he was still a kid. He was still a little kid, right? He wasn't, he was working a part time job. He was poor. He was just a gamer, right? He wasn't anybody. He was just a gamer. No college, no driver's license, no nothing. So, Uh, he, on, he was going to go to a very expensive restaurant. Like his friend introduced him to a restaurant. So Daigo saved up his money.、Uh, he was very, very excited. He was going to treat himself to this special. You, you do that, right? You guys have been treat yourself somewhere nice.、Uh, so he wanted to go to this, this Japanese restaurant. So he went to Tokyo Hill, I think is what he said. But it's a very like, luxurious building. So, young innocent Daigo was very. He said he'd never done anything like this in his view before. He, he dressed up well. He was ready to go. He was ready to go fit in. Okay, the restaurant was on the basement.、Mm-hmm. ですかってこういう顔されたんですよ。何ですかって言われて。で、こっちは初めて行く広尾だし、こんな田舎者が世間知らずのやつが行ってもいいのかなってビクビクしてるから、その一発目でこっちが間違えたのは悪いとは言え
So the girl gives him a really, like, you see him, you see his face go like that. She, like, reeled back and glared at him and said, like, like what? Like, what the hell do you want? Like, who, what, what are you doing here? And Daigo was hurt right there. He's, like, because he was really, like, young, innocent, nervous Daigo. He was really trying to, he wanted to go experience this. He wanted to see if he could fit in. And right away, he said immediately the first, as he was questioning whether or not he could fit in, the first interaction was, what the hell are you doing here? Like, get out. So Daigo right away was like, ah, oh, okay. No, like, I don't belong here. Like, I I am not qualified to be with these people, right? I'm just a bum. I'm just a, a fighting game player. <laughs> Yeah, so Daigo felt bad. Mm -hmm. He's like, yep. mm -hmm. Yeah. プロゲーマーになってメディアに出てなんかいろんな自分がこれさえあれば俺対等に戦ってけんじゃねえかなって思ってたものがどんどんどんどん手に入ってく過程で俺ちょっと待ってこれこのまま行くと俺復讐できち
right? Pick pick this strong character, like picking guile, doing what's expected, doing what is considered strong instead of what he wanted to do. He said, my, my upbringing was really simple. Brush your teeth. あとは so Daigo said his upbringing, compared to other people, his upbringing from his parents was really simple. It was like just really basic stuff. Brush your teeth, put your shoes away, like succeed, like whatever you do, do it well, like succeed in whatever you want to do. And don't cause, uh, don't cause, what, what is it? Like don't be a burden on anybody. Don't, don't be a burden or don't trouble other people. You know, that's why I was まあ、so out of those upbringing things, Daigo was thinking, um, he, he thought a lot about don't be a burden on others. Don't be a burden on others. So he said, no matter what you do, if you live your life uh, and if you don't answer like the, the calls or the hopes of people around you, then that's going to be a burden on them, right? You're, you're burdening people. Yeah, so for example, like that girl that I talked about earlier who chose like the lesser the lesser partner, she she caused problems for her parents. Like she burdened her parents by choosing what she wanted to do. <laughs> so right there, Dago, that was kind of funny. So this is a business speech in front of a 300 businessmen and women, but Dago said, ore. Which is like the rough way of saying me. So the chat went cra Japanese chat went crazy here. Daigo's upbringing. He he's from a, a place called Adachi, which is considered like a rough area. But they said, oh, they said, oh, his Adachi blood came out right there. So he said, ore. Then he said, oh, sorry. He said, excuse me. I said, ore. I meant boku. <laughs>周囲all right, so he's saying, look, um, it's kind of hard. So the one thing was about not causing other people, not being a burden on other people. But he said, if you don't answer other people's hopes, then you're causing them a burden like that girl did. But then Daga says, well, it doesn't matter because it's everyone in the world has all sorts of different people having their hopes for you. It could be your your partner, your parents, your friends, like your bosses, your fans, your neighbors, like everyone you know is always uh, hoping on you or, or wanting you to do something. They're expecting you to do something. But Daigo says, don't. He's like, well, they shouldn't. No one should be asking you to do anything. Like no one should be expecting you to do anything. 
He's like, if you live and you're trying to answer everyone's hopes for you, first of all, they're not even clear, right? No one has a clear hope. Like, how can you make other people happy? It's not defined on how to make other people happy. Everyone just kind of has this vague idea of what they want you to do. So you don't know what you, you need to do to make them happy, right? It's always really vague. And then if you do do it, they're going to go want something else from you. So it, it'll like never end, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if, if all you're doing is answering other people's hopes for you, then you're going to realize, wow, life is so boring. What am I doing with my life? Yeah, and then if you, the worst case scenario, did he talk about killing yourself? I don't know. But he said in the worst case scenario, if you keep going, you keep following that, your own life will end. As in, I don't know, maybe your life, you just die. Like you, you reach the end of your life and you spent your whole life trying to meet other people's expectations of you. So he said, my upbringing was really simple, but my parents never taught me as a child. Like ne one of the life lessons my parents told me, it was never, they never told me, answer other people's hopes for you or always meet other people's expectations. They never told him that. <laughs> so Dagu said, all right. He said, so I was never raised this way. So I am, I thought that it's fine. It's fine for me to never answer anyone else's expectations of what I, I want to do. He's like, wait a second. That might might make it sound like I'm a lazy guy who doesn't do anything. But let me rephrase that. I will not meet people's expectations of what they think they want me to do. That's kind of hard to say. But like whatever image that people have of what, the way they want me to be, I'm never going to fit that image. I'm never going to meet their image. I'll meet their expectations through other ways, I think, is what he's implying. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's, so he said, yes, whatever image you have in your head, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I will meet your hopes in my own way. Like I, I will meet, live up to your expectations in my own way, not in the path that you're choosing for me. That's his philosophy now. あ、ま、できる範囲でうーん、ま、皆さんもちょっとこう自分の気持ちに正直にこれって自分が正しいと思い込んでたけど、人に正しいと思い込まされてるだけなんじゃないのかなっていうことが一つや二つあると思いますから。ま
、どうしても言いたかったことっていうのは、うんまあ、勝ち続ける意思力とかね一日一つだけな,なるって、まあ、もちろんそれもうん現実世界は競争激しいですから無視していいとは言いませんが何のために勝つのか何のために成長するのかっていうことを忘れると忘れるというか明確にしておかないとつい,先日つい数日前までの僕のようになんで生きてんだっけなって。He's like, well, so to wrap things up, the thing that I wanted to tell everyone today, like my main point, the thing I want you guys to listen the most is yes, of course, I was talking about how to improve, and like earlier they talked about how to improve and all that. He's like, of course, I want to talk about that, and whether you use it or not, it's all up to you. It depends on your own situation. But I really wanted to make sure everyone knows that, or I want you all to、uh, realize and think of why. Like, why are you improving? Why are you doing this? He's like, if, if you lose sight of what you want, and、uh, if you lose sight of like, what you want and why you're doing things, then、uh, you might end up like I was just a couple, like a little bit before when I was very depressed and I was wondering, what's the point of living? That's what I'm saying. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, まあ、皆さんもちょっとこう自分の気持ちに正直にこれって自分が正しいと思い込んでたけど人に正しいと思い込まされてるだけなんじゃないのかなっていうことが一つや二つあると思いますから。So he says, I want everyone here to, I'm sure everyone here, I want you to directly look at yourself and I want you to think that maybe there's something that you thought You, you always thought was this is correct, this is correct. You always thought this is right or this is correct or this is the way it is, but maybe、uh, this is something that you were forced to think because people around you influenced you and forced you to think that this is correct or this is the way it should be. Daigo says, I'm sure that everyone has at least one or two things that you've been influenced. So he's like, I want you to think on your own, right? Think on your own. Without other people's influence or expectations, and you know, you choose and decide what's right. まあそれをこう可能な範囲で、俺は俺の好きなように生きるぜってやってもらえたら、まあ今日講演した甲斐があるかなと思います。So if you guys watching or you you guys listening, if you can find one or two things、uh, that other people are You've been influenced or you've been, you've been led on, and then you can decide no, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to live my way, my style.、Uh, if anyone here can, this speech helped you out and you're able to do that, then I feel like this presentation I gave、uh, had some value, had some, some worth. So that's about it. Thank you very much. Is that it? Is that okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Ta da! Ta da! Alright, that's it.